Hi. Um, wow. This video will be for the people that are thinking, oh, we've heard this before, but I'm down to hear it one more time. <laughs> and if that's you, continue watching. If that's not you, can it be you just today? <laughs> that is right, ladies and gentlemen. Sky Williams is back, and there's some valuable lessons that we can learn from his comeback video about how to survive depression. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health. And the way I like to do that is pull different topics from the YouTube community and try to teach you how to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, like, I'll be honest, I didn't even know Sky Williams made a video yesterday, or I probably would have made it, because you know I'm all about that quickness, but I unsubscribed from him. Um, and I'll talk about that more in a second. But anyways, let me, let me catch up to speed about my relationship with Sky Williams and how I was introduced to him. So, uh, man, it was, it was a while ago, maybe almost a year ago, but um, one of my good friends, like after the whole PewDiePie incident, yeah, it was right around the PewDiePie incident, he sent me a, uh, this uh, Twitter video from Sky Williams, and like, oh my God, like, so those of you who don't know, I'm actually half black, and like, <laughs> so I have different feelings about people dropping like, you know, the N word and all of that, especially because people don't realize I'm half black. And there's a lot of like, I don't know, I could do a whole video about people not realizing that I'm half black and being very openly racist around me. But anyways, anyways, give me two minutes of your time. Give Sky Williams two minutes of your time because this was my introductory to Sky Williams and it was the best thing I ever saw in my life. Watch out. Okay, well. You know, it was only a matter of time before someone said it again. Um, and the Black Council looked the other way on here, but apparently this is hard R, so let me see what the best clip is. PewDiePie could be heard to say the N word. Here we go. What the f? Jeez, oh my god, what the f? Sorry, but what the f? What the f? What a fing What a fing Jeez, oh my god, what the f Sorry, but what the f I'm going back to bed. So yeah, after my friend sent me that Twitter video, I just fell in love with Sky Williams and I subscribed to him. I started binge watching all of his content and that clip, he actually put it in like almost like a 30 minute long and like Sky Williams is like this comedic genius and not even just a comedic genius, but like an amazing creator. I can't explain it, but he does things that I've never seen anybody else do on this platform. And selfishly, like a lot of us are, like, 
it bums me out because when I found him, he stopped creating. Now, clearly this was for mental health issues. Now, long, long, long time ago, before most of you even knew I existed, I made a video about Sky Williams and uh, talking about locus of control and depression and stuff. But anyways, I will try to find it and link it up in the info card if you wanna check that out. Cause I'm gonna touch on a few of those topics again later in this video. But anyways, yeah, Sky Williams just made his comeback video um, after overcoming depression. I just wanna break it down because like, this is so powerful to see someone come out of this because, like, like I always try to teach you guys, like, the reason why I show you guys these other stories and show you what other people are doing because you have to have that mentality of, like, okay, if that person can get on the other side of this thing, maybe I can too. And Sky Williams is a great example of that right now. I'm apologizing because I feel like I shared too much. I used you guys as some sort of journal or diary and I, I weighed my happiness with how many views a video got and I know these were distorted like thoughts in depression but that's what happened. It's funny because when I was uh, writing down like notes for the clips and stuff, like I had to rewrite this part like a million times. This first I was gonna tell him like, don't apologize. Like don't apologize for opening up on YouTube. But then he kind of elaborated and yeah, yeah, there's like do's and don'ts. And you know, getting out of that depressive funk, he kind of like realized and got that clarity like, okay, like there's a time and a place. Like, and it's, it's this interesting balance with YouTube. See, I have a mental health channel, so it's a lot easier for me to open up with you about my mental health, about my struggles, you know, my successes and all of that. But for someone like Sky Williams, it's, it's kind of difficult for him to find the balance. It might be difficult for you as well, because sometimes we feel like we have to be this certain type of person. So like, I don't know, like in Sky Williams specific case, like I think it's good to find a balance. Maybe like once a week he could do like a vlog because something I'm gonna touch on throughout this video and I wish more creators did this was just keep people up to date about their mental health because someone like Sky Williams with almost a million subscribers, he can provide a lot of useful tools to even more people. That's the only reason why I wanna grow this channel is so I can reach more people. And his story right now is very inspirational. But for all of you right there, like find people who you can connect with and open up about this stuff. And one way is through like the Rewired Soldier uh, Facebook group. While I was undergoing this depression, it was very easy for me to look at other people's drama and latch onto it or talk about it or gossip about it or whatever it is because I mean, it beats, you know, dealing with my own Yes, 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 yes. That is what I'm talking about. So my current channel trailer as of now, when I'm recording this video, is why I'm obsessed with YouTube drama. And Sky Williams just hit it right on the head. Like, I, I, I take these things and I make my videos the way I do is because I know a lot of people are just like Sky Williams. I know a lot of you can relate to what Sky Williams was just saying he would get caught up in the drama because that's a lot easier than looking at himself, right? This is the way I used to live my life. So like, if you can relate to that, like take some of you know the steps that he's taking to pull yourself out of that. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I still love me some drama and I'll explain after this next clip. The problem is drama is like gay man Gatorade. Like it's difficult for me to not sip tea. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's not, I cannot help it. So I cannot promise you that I will ignore it. However, what I can commit to is I will not instigate. I will not fight. Damn, I'm lying about that too. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so yeah, I've never heard of gay man great Gatorade, but like, even though I'm a straight guy, like I could definitely relate to what Sky says. Like I, I've made videos in the past where I talked about like, I used to be just like a huge drama queen and all up in it. But my suggestion, if any of you can relate to that, where you're just like a magnet for drama, is to turn it into something positive. So for example, what I try to do on my channel is I try to take this drama and teach you lessons from it, okay? So rather than just sitting there judging other people and oh my God, they're so crazy, and ah, you know, whatever, what lessons can we turn? But I'm gonna give you a pro tip, and this is something I can make an entire video on. As most of you know, I try to turn everything into a learning experience. So just for example, when I see other people acting a fool, when I'm watching other YouTubers acting a fool, when I see my coworkers or people just on the street or people in the grocery store or wherever it is, I use that as a learning experience. I'm like, okay, what do I have to do to not be like that? Because something I found when I was like really evaluating my mental health and my anger issues and all these other things, I saw that a lot of things I didn't like about other people 
I was doing it as well. So now when I, when I see it in other people, I ask myself, I'm like, okay, am I doing that? No? Okay, cool. Like, what do I gotta do to make sure I don't do that? So any issues I have with bigger YouTubers, for example, I try to make damn sure that when I get to their level, I am not, I don't become what they are if I don't agree with what they're doing, right? That doesn't fit my moral compass or whatever, or my value system, you know? So use these as lessons. You can learn some of your best lessons from people that you do not like, okay? Depression is some shit, I, I, I won't lie. Like, like depression tricks you into believing uh, at a moment's notice that you have nothing and that you're just, your whole life is terrible and you should just die. And then if you survive depression, the issue is that because that toxic air was around you, when you wake up and realize that you're out of depression, you look at what you have and it's just like what they tricked you to believe that, well, damn, I have nothing and nobody. And obviously I don't have nobody, but you see what I'm saying? The toxic behavior that I exude, people aren't gonna wanna deal with it. I've lost a lot of friendships, but it makes sense because you don't wanna be around that. No hard feelings at all. Oh my God, that right there, that right there is the best clip in the entire video. Yes, this is depression, right? Anxiety works in the same way. It is the lies that your brain tells you, right? And I love how he talks about like coming out of like this fog and you realize that your brain's been deceiving you. Like, I don't know about the rest of you, but this thing right here is my worst enemy sometimes. It is my worst enemy. So here are two tips. Here are two tips. If you have a brain like mine that has a hard time separating the truth from the false. So kind of like Sky was saying, like when you're in that depression, your brain lies to you. It says, nothing's worth it, everything's terrible, I don't have this, I don't have that. So our brain has a hard time separating the truth from the false. So the first tip, and both of these involve writing, so get a little journal or a scrap piece of paper and write down what your brain is telling you, okay? And then, next to that thought, say, is this true or is it false? Look at that specific thing. So for example, my brain will tell me I don't have any, any friends, nobody likes me, so I can look at that sentence and I could say, okay, what is, what is the evidence? Like, respect the evidence, okay? Like, if I looked at my brain telling me that, then it's like, okay, wait a second. I have friends, I have a beautiful girlfriend, I have my son, uh, you know, um, I'm friends with my son's mother, which is amazing, like, I have all of you beautiful people. Like, writing this down on paper, you can say, okay, my brain is not telling me the truth right now. Tip number two, gratitude list. I tell you guys this all the time. Gratitude, 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 gratitude. Just write five things a day and it is scientifically proven to decrease your depression. It could be anything. So the roof over your head, the fact that you have a cell phone, the fact that you know you can breathe, the fact that you have your, you know, your health, whatever it is, just write these things down because what you're doing is you're rewiring your brain to focus on the positive rather than the negative. Some of my loyal subscribers right now are like, dang Chris, this is a super positive video. Where's that tough love, Chris? I was saving it for the end. So now to finish off this video, I'm going to talk about this clip. See, I thought that putting on a Patreon is abusing my audience. I thought that giving you guys sponsor content is audience abuse. And I still do believe that, but I I took it a step further. I will honestly say that I didn't really recognize it uh, until recently. So right now, Sky, if you're watching this, here comes Tough Love Chris, but this is for any creator out there. This is for anybody watching this video, okay? Like, this is something that I talked about in my first Sky Williams video when I first started up on YouTube, is, is this kind of like, this, this thing like, oh, I, I feel or I think that you know using Patreon is taking advantage of my fans. Like, no, that is another lie your brain is telling you. Like, there are right ways and wrong ways to do things. But let me put it this way. Like, I look at uh, Patreon in a few different ways. One of them is like a tip jar, right? Like, think about um, a street performer and they put a little bucket out, right? Like, can you imagine a street performer who uses this, this money to feed themselves and do whatever, right? Like, could you imagine them saying, nah, that's taking advantage of you? No, no, man, like some of you want to support what we do. Now, if we pressure you into it, that's a different story. But Sky Williams, like, I would pay you to keep making the amazing content that you make, my man. Like, I would gladly do it. And if you guys wanna help me out, down in the comments below, let me know why. Why do you support these creators? But the other thing is, Sky or anybody else watching this, if you feel guilty about it, provide value, okay? Provide value with your Patreon. It is an exchange, okay? Unfortunately, 
or fortunately, depending on you know how you look at it, we live in a capitalist society, okay? We exchange money for goods and services, okay? I cannot pay my rent. I cannot feed myself. I cannot take care of my son. I can't take my girlfriend out on dates. I can't pay for gas. You know, any of that things without money. So give people a transaction. So this can be, you know, uh, shout outs, or it can be, you know, private uh, content for Patreon supporters. It can be live chats, it can be a Discord server, whatever. And if you're watching this and you're still against Patreon, make some merch, okay? Like, the reason like you gotta think outside the box is like, YouTube is so unpredictable. It is so unpredictable. You'll get demonetized, you won't make any money, or you're dependent on views, whatever that is but you got to take control of this. Like Sky Williams discusses how he had some issues with brands and stuff like that. Take control, okay? Be an entrepreneur. You are in control of this thing, right? Why do people become YouTubers? Because they want control. They want to be their own boss. But if you're your own boss, you have to figure out a way to support yourself. But I do think, in my opinion, that this and the financial issues fuels a lot of Sky Williams depression based on the way I've seen him talk about it in the past, okay? The, the like, I might be wrong, I might be wrong, but the two main things, the two main things that are holding Sky Williams back or you back are pride, and fear, okay? Too much pride, thinking I don't need to do this, right? I don't, I don't have to, like, why, 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 I'm not gonna bang, I'm not gonna do this, right? But it's not begging, by the way. And the second one is fear, fear of being judged, fear of what people are gonna think of you, right? Most of the creators have Patreons, uh, Patreon pages, right? I've seen so many creators who have Patreon pages where they have like one, five, twenty dollar tier, and they literally give their audience nothing, not a shout out, not jack, and they're making thousands of dollars a month. So give somebody something of value, all right? But anyways, anyways, that's it for Tough Love, Chris. I'm so glad that Sky Williams is back. If you haven't checked out his content, like, like go, go check it out. Like, if you have this type of sense of humor that I do, you will absolutely love him. I'm so glad he's back. I wanna see where he goes. But like I said, I really hope he continues to make some videos or update people on, like, his journey because I really think it inspires people. And, like, I just wish, I just wish more YouTubers would do it. I know it's kind of, kind of outside the realm of what their niche is on that channel, but I don't know. It's just, with this type of platform that we have and the way we're able to reach audiences, like, just connect with other people. And you could do this in a ton of different ways. Like, just, you know, I think Sky Williams said he was talking a lot about it on Twitter or whatever it is. Like, just do something. The last thing I will say before I let you go is, Sky Williams, it sounds like he has an excellent support group. Um, one thing that I would recommend if he could afford it or whatever is, you know, to try therapy, okay? Try working with a licensed therapist, but also I don't know if Sky Williams has talked about this before, but this is also for you. This isn't just about Sky Williams. Like, he might be having like clinical depression and he might need to try some type of medication. And I just made a video about medications in my The Right Opinion video, so check that out. But anyways, that these are things that might help him. But other than that, support is amazing. Sky Williams, if you're watching this, join the Rewired Soldier Facebook group. We got you, baby. But if you're watching this too, come join the Rewired Soldier Facebook group. Like we go up in there, we talk about the problem, focus on the solution. It's amazing, all right? But anyways, anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Let's make this comment section popping, all right? Let me know down in the comments uh, section below. How did you, how did you survive depression? Let me hear some stories of hope and success and triumph. Inspire me and everybody else who reads the comments, okay? Anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel on Patreon. And again, I ain't got no shame in my game. So if you wanna help support me do what I love, which is help people with their mental health, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. You get your name right here, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.